Two thousand years later. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, si Raul. <laughs> it's so far. Ah. Hi. Come. Come on, come on, come on. It's time to get away. going to play so Gerand is a subject so what is Gerand what is Gerand for you I don't know. Gerand is it's like a verb and and Gerand also is um, our Mayroong ING sa dulo. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, kami muna ngayon kasi wala yung mga kagrupo namin. Init nga eh. You know? So, play is a fun. The Gerant there. Oh, slides pa more, slides pa more, slides pa more. Ah, slides pa more. Wait lang. <laughs> Gerant as a direct object. Yan. We love playing. We love playing. <laughs> Woo, we love. Oh, game. Sentence that a noun ordinarily would 
For example, wait, we're going to explain. Okay, and there are and <laughs> and there are also is like a verb. You. Jen does a verbal and functions of a noun. Jen is louder. Jen, Jen. Jen. louder. Jen. Jen. Oh. So here's one of the properties as a gerund. Gerund as a subject. Gerunds are often used as the subject of a sentence to talk about activities, behaviors, or opinions. Gerunds are always singular and when they're used as the subject of the sentence, the verb that follows always take the third person's singular form. Um, for example, the sentence that we, we use uh, while we are playing is that Playing is fun. So the subject is the playing and this is the linking verb. Well, yes. the fun is the uh, predicate of the sentence. So that is. And the second, and the second uh, Property. properties of the gerund is gerund as the direct object. Gerund as a direct object. A gerund can also, lock, also act as the object of a verb. Just like the sample. Just like the sample. Um, no. <laughs> we love. They love ah. playing. They love playing. The sentence that we use uh, as a uh, gerund as a direct object is they love playing. So they, uh, the subject, and love is the. Sarangel heta, ori gamana, jiuji mota, chuagi deta. Verb and the uh, playing is the, the as the is the direct object of gerund. So that's it. And the third one, uh, the third properties of a gerund is gerund as an object of preposition. Can you please read the the meaning, guys? Gerund can also be used. Gerund as, as the... object of preposition. Gerund can... as object of preposition. Gerund as object of preposition. Gerund can be also be used as the, as the object of the preposition. Use we gerund include of about before and after. So, so the sentence in our gerund as object of preposition is preposition. 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 <laughs> Proposition is uh, my love for playing was endless. So preposition, preposition are words that show the relationship, relationship, relationship between a noun or a pronoun. Preposition links nouns, pronouns, usually short word words, placed directly in front of nouns or or in front of gerund. So in the uh, sentence of my love for playing was endless. Uh, 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 the preposition for was used before the gerund. My love for, for My love for playing was endless. So for is the preposition and the gerund is playing. So the next one is gerund as a positive. Gerund as a positive, yes. Gerund as a positive. <laughs> a gerund can be used as a positive. A word or a group of words that links a noun and gives more information about it. There must be a comma before and after the gerund place. So the sentence that we will use is The best form of exercise, playing is also least expensive and fun. So here, we're, we're talking about gerund as a positive. A positive. It renames a noun and gives more information about it. So, um, playing. So here, playing is the a positive as the gerund. Best form, um, best adjective because it modifies the, uh, the best form of exercise. Exercise is the verb. Uh, walking. Uh, no, playing is the, the gerund as a positive because um, when we encounter gerund as a positive, it has a clue that has a comma before and after the gerund phase. So 
the best form of exercise, comma, playing, comma, is also least expensive and fun. So, that's the fourth properties of an Avalgerant. So, the fifth and the last one of the Gerant properties is Gerant as a subject complement. Gerant as a subject complement. Gerant as a Gerant can also function as subject subject complement. <laughs> a subject of complement is a noun that follows a linking verb. Linking verb are form of the verb. The verb to be such such as am, is, is, are, was, and where. So here in Gerard, as a subject complement. We use the sentence, our favorite hobby is playing. Because we all know that when we are children and even now, we, 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 all, we always like to play. Even when we are practicing jingles, apps, there's, we cannot uh, deny the fact that while we are uh, enjoying the jingles, the practice, we, they are, we are also playing in the, in the, our academic so here our favorite hobby is playing so uh, the subject complement here is uh, play uh, playing because our favorite is the adjective and our favorite hobby is the favorite is the adjective and gardening uh, no God, why we always said gardening <laughs> it's not what it was have to playing uh, playing because Playing is fun, like what we said. So in the subject complement, we are using also a uh, linking verb such as is, are, was, and were. A subject complement is a noun that follows a linking verb. So our favorite hobby is, is the linking verb. And then the next, the gerund is the playing. Gerund is a subject complement. So guys, what can you say about the gerund? and its function. Um, first, the subject. What can you say about it? Um, Gerand. Gerand. As a subject? Yes, as a subject. Gerand as a subject is... Uh, very, very... <laughs> very, very... Very, very... Um, Gerand as a subject is... Minsan yon madalas inag inaano siya sa may mga activities, mga hobbies natin, just like uh, sample, sample, exercise, so, gardening, 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 gardening. Katulad na sinabi namin kanina that play is fun, so that's all. <laughs> Your daily, what can you say? Direct object, adjoint kin also act as the object. Ibig sabihin po the yung gerund daw is pwede rin daw siyang the gerund is the gerund is the doer of the action just like the example we love playing so the gerund there is playing yes and the subject is we and the and love is a verb, love is a verb. that's all huh? you, what can you about <laughs> direct object the gerund as a direct object. The gerund can be as an object. Yung gerund po, pwede maging object. Pwede maging object. Katulad na, she's enjoy running daily. The gerund is running. And the... <laughs> yes, she enjoys. The, uh, the verb is the enjoy and she is the subject. So the running is the doer of the action. <laughs> so the third one, what can you say about the object of the proposition? Gerard uh, um, as a F. Gerard. <laughs> Gerund as a object of preposition, and so Gerund is, is can be <laughs> Gerund can be object of preposition, just like uh, uh, just 
like the word about, after, my for, yung mga preposition po, yun, pwede po na siya ng So, Jiren is an object of preposition. 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 I always say, Nos kabulol na ako. The four, for example. For example, the four. The four is the preposition. Four, after, before. Those words that we... No. Because they help us to connect the Jiren in... In the object here, in the in the preposition. So, Dailene, what can you say about the preposition here as the gerund? Gerund, guess. Gerund can be also object and preposition. Yes. Example, he is excited about being F O U. Kailangan mo daw maglagay ng comma bago mag bago mag uh, positive yung word or bago mag gerund or tsaka pagkatapos ng gerund. So, um, gerund is a positive. When we add information, what uh, when we ask what uh, what is the best form of exercise? So, walking because you uh, when uh, when we uh, uh, we when we reform the Word a positive. It answers the question because it is informed, full of information. Information. So, as gerund is a subject complement, what can you react or say about gerund as a subject complement? How can you use? Subject complement. Subject complement, ba? Yes. Ito pinabawas ako. Gerund sa sub. I'll be back. Ano? Gerund sa subject complement. The subject complement here is playing because the it modifies the word favorite. Uh, hobby is playing, so that's word. So when we use gerund, it helps us really big in our grammar because it teaches us how to uh, use it correctly and how we yes. will uh, pronounce and yeah. use this for daily activities that we do. So guys, um, how can it help you for daily daily activities or how do you describe it? Jiran, for me Jiran is 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 sobrang nakakatulong sa min kasi napapadali namin maintindihan yung isang 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 sentence or isang word dahil dun sa Jiran na yun at mas mas madali namin na imo modify kung ano yung ibig sabihin nun ganon kapulat na she's she's hungry she's Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey guys, so that's all for today. So thank you. I didn't attend it, so I'm at the closing program. Bye bye. That's all.
Thank you.